What's up guys, welcome to episode 2, I hope you enjoyed the little intro video again, if you're new, this is my 1994 Jeep Y-Jam sitting in it, and if you haven't seen the first episode, go watch that first, because that's, like, before this thing happened, and today's video, I'm kinda gonna do an update, um, I'm stripping it down, and I'm getting it down, um, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film because this kind of, this kind of stuff is just boring. I gotta get it down to the tub and the frame. I'm gonna clean everything up and then I'm gonna paint and all that other fun stuff. So these videos are gonna be relatively quicker and shorter, but I'm gonna throw in some a few clips of what I did film. But I hope you enjoy. Hopefully this mic is better, but I'm going to show you why we need to build those. So if you don't know, Craftsman and many other like tools have full lifetime warranties. And with a Jeep, you're going to need yourself one of these. It's a Torx head, but it's the impact version. So it's stronger. But what I didn't realize is you have to bring the whole thing back. So I ended up doing a new one. But that's the impact one. Now, I also broke two or three more of these, so I had to get new ones, like, they just broke, and that's the big impact one. So, I got more to use, so let's go back to the Jeep. So as you guys can see, I took the top off, I got the doors off, I took out the back seat and passenger seat, I swept it all up, I got all the um, floor mats out, I got the console out, and got rid of all that stuff. The only thing left in the interior is the dash, the driver's seat, the pedals, the shifter, so it still runs and drives, which is good because I'm moving around and right now I'm working on getting these off I took off the tail lights and the gas stuff and I gotta take these uh, metal diamond plating off and clean that up it does say 4.0 liter high output I haven't figured out why that is because this is the four cylinder not it's the 2.5 liter, I believe it is. And so I don't know if it was a tub they changed or whatnot. Or if um, the whole thing, whatever. But I do have the original window sticker. It is originally the 2.5 liter. But it's coming along, so I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> I just showed you I was taking off this side and I had previously done this side previously and so it looks like, oops, looks better but I am going to put new armor on it after I clean up the body and repaint it now I got to take off the one on the door and clean up the door a little bit I did get this metal piece off the back, but it looks like I may need a new tailgate as it's rusted, but 
That's not the end of the world. I gotta get these hinges off. I got one bolt out. These things are stripped like so bad. Where as I broke an impact, a regular, and twisted the third before I had to give up. So tomorrow I'm gonna take it back to Lowe's and get a new one because they're craftsmen, which have a lifetime warranty. So I'm gonna probably get through another one before it breaks again, sadly. But got this off. Now I'm gonna try to get the fender flares off, but I think I'm gonna wrap up the video there because it's probably probably gonna be a little bit longer. These videos are meant to be like short and quick and easy. And till I get to down to the fun stuff, like the new motor, then I'll be making more longer videos. But for now, it's going to be short ones.